Rupa from ICSE Grade 9. I will be demonstrating my physics project today. The topic of my project is conversion of sound energy to electrical energy. We know that sound propagates in a wave. It needs a, a medium to travel. When we speak or an object vibrates, air is the medium which transports sound. Sound travels in a wave. Mm. The wave has a crest where the air is compressed and is called compression. The wave has a drop where the air forms a small vacuum and is called diaphragm. When this wave hits the diaphragm of a microphone or your eardrum, it, we can perceive sound. So here I have connected an oscilloscope to a speaker. A speaker is like a microphone but does the complete opposite thing. It produces sound, but it can also be used to capture sound. When uh, we speak into a microphone or somebody's ear, the sound waves hit the eardrum or the diaphragm of the microphone. A speaker is like a microphone, but does the complete opposite thing. It can also be used to capture sound. Tell your name. Star. Louder. Louder. Star. Enough, enough, wait. For the oscilloscope, it showed a wave. That's where the sound hit the diaphragm and moved it. A speaker has a diaphragm, the moving part, which is attached to a coil of copper wire. The copper wire moves through a magnet, which creates an electric field, which is then captured by the oscilloscope. A microphone works in the same way but is more sensitive. This is a piezoelectric element. It uses the piezoelectric effect to capture sound or mechanical stress. These are used in buzzers which make high pitched sound like in washing machines or microwave. Piezoelectric effect states that when a few materials are under mechanical stress they produce electricity. So when I tap the piezo electric element, you can see that the electricity fluctuates. You can show it once again. Yeah. When electricity is applied to these piezoelectric elements, they expand and contract, creating sound. 